My name's Tom and I'm Charles Mallow. I'll have a history degree from Trinity. See, I've been back to interest in visiting historic places and finding out more about what happened there and the background to those places. There was one time I went to an exhibition in Dublin. Three of us were sitting in the dark room and I, I couldn't hear the soundtrack for the film plot of the exhibition. See, my friend was re speaking as it went along. But that means you got a summary and not everything out there but him of what he said and captioned in, in the first place. We did was that. And these days you can bring film into YouTube or a similar captioning tool. One, one area for improvement would be for buildings have indoor exhibits and outdoor exhibits. It seems to me that when they step outside, sometimes the level of information about the venue drops. So it's not as easy to find. So you could be wandering around the outdoor area, needing more information and not being sure where to get it or how to get it. I mention loop systems because they don't work for everybody. They work if you heart of heaven, if you have a, a good usable level of heaven, with or without hearing aid. But for people who are profoundly deaf, loop systems are not really that beneficial. It is hard to explain because the same way we all have different eyesight, it's the same for hearing and one ear could be different to the other the same way you have one stronger eye than the other. So I think it's important to make that point. It is good to speak clearly at all times but repeating and today's background noise if you can move away from that maybe to a corner or even outside if you have to. And it helps if the brand new, say, the seminar room is signposted because you like to be independent and not having to ask the way of your way. And it, it, it helps also that you know people might be the reading and to be prepared to write things down if there's difficulty communicating because the majority of people will be able to read what's written down.